Welcome to The Public's Health, a production of the Alameda County Public Health Department. This is a new show designed to invite you, the public, into the workings and doings of your public health department. I'm Dr. Tony Eiten, the Alameda County Public Health Officer. With me today on our inaugural show, I've done many things in my life, um, high school principal run of business, been a family therapist, um, been on the faculty of various universities, and I found home in public health because it's about keeping folk healthy, working with the community. And I didn't understand that because we was there and they see us and why would they circle and why would they wouldn't come down to help us. And I feel and believe if they would have came uh, like they were supposed to and come got the people because we was hollering help, help, I said, and then it wouldn't have been so many drowning people. We had um, some of our nurses and other folk go down to the south to help in that disaster. We had no idea what was wrong with her medically, no idea what medication she had been taken, where she had been treated or anything. I didn't know the name of the medicine. We're joined now by two nurses from the Alameda County Public Health Department, Larry Vitale and Albert Papalardo, both of whom were sent by the Public Health Department to respond to the disaster in Katrina by working with their brothers and sisters on the front lines in hospitals. If they say that there's a hurricane on the way, leave as far as you can go. Don't even, don't, don't stay, don't even stay in Louisiana, leave. If I'm exposed to influenza, how long does it take for me to actually start to get sick? Yep, it's about one to four days between the time a person's exposed to the uh, virus via these the respiratory droplets as we talked about until they then start to show these symptoms that, that we've talked about, fever and the aches and um, um, just feeling tired and ill. What happens is, is once all the donations come in, the money is divided up between um, immunizations and Mastic Senior Center. And we usually use that money to purchase vaccines for the elderly for next year. It's very important for seniors to get their flu vaccine because every year in this country, 36,000 people die from the flu. We're going to move to the subject of avian influenza, which is something that has been on, on the minds of a lot of people lately. And we want to hear what the people on the street have been hearing. I've never heard anything about a bird flu. I've heard a little bit. Uh, I heard a little bit on the news. I know it's uh, given off from uh, some type of bird. It sounds like it's uh, still within the bird population and hasn't really mutated to anything that would could be spread quickly to people. And then when those conditions are met, brand new virus, nobody's immune, and it's transmissible person to person, then and only then can it become and be called pandemic. Migratory birds are spreading this into new countries every week, every month, but still not really a human illness. Until we identify a virus that is readily transmissible person to person, it would be very, very difficult to make a vaccine that would work. What are counties doing to prepare? Education of population, education of health care providers, increased surveillance, and planning to deliver either vaccine when it becomes available or antiviral meds if, in fact, they too are available. Drugs and alcohol are almost never a good idea uh, for mentally ill patients. Um, a lot, one problem that a lot of mentally ill people have is a problem controlling their impulses. And most of the drugs that people will take, that is not medication, but drugs, will make it more difficult for people to control their impulses. The same is true with alcohol. So it's not a good idea to um, be drinking or taking drugs, especially at a time when they might be under emotional stress. Anxiety, too much anxiety. It works out okay, I don't get too stressed personally. A lot of times when I work with depressed clients, they will say things like, well, you know, I called somebody, they didn't call me back, um, maybe something's wrong. You know, they, you, don't, you don't have the ability to think logically that, well, well maybe that person's on vacation, um, Maybe they're busy, maybe they're stressed out. This recipe that I'm preparing today just calls for the sweet potato, apple juice, and cinnamon. That's it, just three ingredients. That sounds simple, but yeah. uh, making it healthier, does it change the taste? Well, I want you to, to see for yourself. But let me show you first 
how to prepare the uh, apple glazed sweet potatoes. That's good. Mmm, it's delicious. You can taste the cinnamon in there too. Yeah, yeah. very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoy the show. I encourage you to stay active and eat healthy. I used to eat it like a lot, but now, like after I watched Super Size Me and all this old other stuff, it's telling me biology, all the classes, probably like maybe once. Not being able to be that athletic and not being able to be on teams, sport teams and stuff. It could be hard just to go up a flight of stairs. But the worst part about it though is like you'd be embarrassed to, you know, go in the swimming pool and come out with your, <laughs> with your uh, bathing suit. I don't really exercise, I just walk. I don't even take gym, but I coach basketball and stuff. And it's like little stuff, like don't eat all the junk food. Instead of taking the elevator or the escalator, take the stairs, walk, and all this stuff. So, I mean, you just do that stuff. But as far as exercise and like going to the gym, no time for it. Did you know that only 32% of kids in Alameda County get enough physical activity and are fit? And did you know that only 44% of kids get the required five servings of fruits and vegetables a day in California. DOOF is a new 13-part television series that addresses issues of nutrition and obesity by entertaining, educating, and engaging children in the story of food from source to table. A lot of the problems we're talking about are as a result of kids watching television and too much television, so you would think a TV show isn't the best place to address it. Um, the thing is that they're getting the wrong information about food from fast food ads. We're going to do some yoga poses, simple and easy poses that are accessible to everybody. Well, student run Oakland, for someone who's never heard of it, uh, I would, best description is that uh, it was a uh, few volunteers who were good intentions and wanted to help at risk of disadvantaged students uh, give them an opportunity that they don't ordinarily have. Every patient ought to know what his blood pressure is because if you keep it normal, you don't have to worry about heart disease or heart attack because if your blood pressure is normal, you're unlikely to have it. And you shouldn't have to worry about stroke because you're unlikely to have it. I have been told I had a two mini, mini strokes. Uh -huh. That means my hand numb mm -hmm. and my mouth was I'm feeling numb. It has something to do with your, with the distribution of, uh, of, uh, is it insulin? Low insulin. Glucose, high glucose, okay. too much. There's actually several types of diabetes, but the main one that about 90% of the people have is called type 2 diabetes, which has to do with either a lack of insulin or an improper use of insulin.